Wow, she have a new toy. She buy you the toy. Bougie. Say thank you. She buy you. This is from Chloe. Give her a kiss. Give kiss and cuddle. She buy you the toy. She buy you from her money. Chloe, she had her own money. Yes, and she buy for herself and she give buy her for kiss, you Chloe. also. Chloe, give, Chloe, you give, it give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. She doesn't know. Kiss. Hugging and kiss. No die. No die. Uh, hugging and kiss. Oh. Nice. I, I say thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> wow. Show them your toy, Chloe. She have a funny ears. Hi. I have a little tail bag. Pick. And he... Wow, lovely! Show them the, uh, the ears! What? <laughs> and the tail! And Zoe! And the nose is moving like... <coughs> your, your toy? You'll get out! Mommy, let him go! He's a sad boy! Chloe should choose, isn't it? No! Out? Wow! Look at him! Wow! Look at what he's doing! He could. Uh, me! Me! <laughs> For that one, you see, I'm just that's it. It's just a book. And now Chloe. Yeah. What's the name of this? Is the my pet pig. Wow! Now put it back like before. Now it's gonna work. Now she's gonna work with you. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you hold the bottle? Can I hold it? Yeah. She's mine. Now you have a now you have a pet pig. Because maybe you have to try and first try to find Yeah, change it. And then now. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Look at his ears! It's shaking! <laughs> his ears when oh. he's walking is like Look at shaking, the other one. Like Jealous. Jelly! Oh, she's eating! <laughs> Hi guys! Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video today uh, Roxana have decided to ask me some few questions during um, my uh, stay in London as a um, illegal immigrant because I experienced that when I was uh, staying for a few years in London um, because of the uh, circumstances that I had um, I won't be able to um, sort out my uh, papers so I ended up being illegal immigrant in London for a few years and Roxana yeah I just prepared some, uh, prepared few some questions, questions because I think this is, will be a little bit in interesting like uh, yeah how how did you to be honest with you how, how did, did you I, survive how did I survive for yeah. I think like eight years or nine I was illegal undocumented uh, immigrant yeah, so, quite really so it's quite long yeah. if you if you think about it um, so before she will uh, ask some questions let me just uh, say the, yeah, I've got them in the, phone, so the date when I uh, arrived here in uh, UK so the first time I came here that was a um, October 30th 2009 how old you was that time? If I remember correctly, I was 18, turning to 19. 
Yeah, because you are from uh, April. Yeah. Uh, this was October, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So I was turning 19 at that time. If if I'm if I remember correctly, still six months. You know. Yeah, um, that time my visa was a uh, student visa. During that time, it was quite uh, difficult already. So it's quite is there um, the home office. I think this is the uh, very strict already. This is the I think you have to do it the other vlog about that. About how did you apply it because it's different. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, during that time, they're very strict. They are, they they're making sure that uh, your application is legit. Uh, that you are really a student and you you don't intend to work here in England as an employee, but because you have a student visa, so you meant to study, not uh, not to work. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, during this time, my visa was like three for three years only. So I was just basically I, I didn't study. Because my, my real purpose at that time is just to work, work, work. Mm -hmm. So I've already, uh, I've already broken the, uh, let's say, the agreement for that visa purpose. Mm -hmm. Because instead of studying, I was just working. Yeah, but of course you need money for yeah. living here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a long story, but I think it's good so to now prepare let's the other vlog for that. Yeah, yeah, so now let's start with uh, Roxy's okay, so question. I've got some questions. So, first question is uh, how did you stay in London begin? What was the motivation for you to come to the UK? Well, the real motivation for me to come in the UK because um, I was the uh, the older in our family. Mm -hmm. I'm the eldest one. We are four of us. I have uh, two sister in between in the middle and the younger. I have a younger brother. So, I am actually a breadwinner in the family and I grew up without a real father. I grew up with a stepfather back in uh, Pampanga in Philippines. And uh, I just finished high school. And because of the uh, a difficult life in Philippines was the reason why my mom really pushed me to um, uh, go abroad. Mm -hmm. And basically just to work, not to study. So that, yeah, that was my like, real So purpose. like everyone just want to get a better life, right? Yeah. So, okay, what was your like motivation to come to this? Ah, yeah, this was your motivation. Yes. The other one was question, will be a um, so question. That, that, motiv that motivate, my, the motivation is to basically to help my family, mm -hmm. um, help my brothers and sister uh, for their uh, expenses to school, mm -hmm. and also pay all my uh, debt loan back in Philippines because mm -hmm. um, the, the processing for for the visa you need you need quite a lot of money as well so inutang ko yon sa Pilipinas and then I, I was paying that monthly when I started working here in England so that's the whole motivation for me Okay, the second question is um, how long did you originally plan to stay in London and what were your first plans for the future? Well, really, the, my, my plan is to really sort out my papers here and, I'm intend, and I intend to stay here and, and to be legalized. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've stayed in London as an um, illegal immigrant for eight years eight or nine years mm -hmm. yeah so yeah it's wrong okay another question I've got here so it's um, what difficulties did you experience during your stay in London as a person without a valid visa well yeah difficulties of obviously number one is you cannot find a legal work mm -hmm. everything you have to find cash on hand so for me at that time, it was quite difficult to find a job, so I didn't even look for like a normal job. What I put in my head is just any kind of job that pays mm -hmm. me cash. I will, I will do it. You know, as long as it's clean money, as long as you you're doing um, a, 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 like legal work. I mean, in a sense of you're not doing any bad things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as you know, you, you're making your money in a good way, not like, for example, like selling drugs or stuff like mm. that. No. It's easy to find it, uh, find that job? In my opinion, no, it's not easy. It's not for everyone, hindi mm -hmm. para sa lahat. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I managed to get some work, because 
I made a lot of connection in London. I met mm -hmm. a lot of Filipino who helped me a lot. And for me, number one important is to be able to make a connections, make friends because mm -hmm. you you will need uh, these people who can help you. Um, yeah, because recommendation. Yeah, recom because yeah, recommendation. Recommendation is really important, especially really in, in important. Europe. Yeah. Like they can recommend you typical for somebody that's, to work or that's like that. what helped me a lot because when when they see how I how I did the job some of my uh, the people that I know they they recommend me to you know to them boss to their employer they explain my situation so in case they would so they was for, aware of this. yeah so in case like they would go for holiday instead of calling uh, different from uh, agency or from different company they would rather take someone who's been recommended by them mm -hmm. employee yeah. yeah so yeah that's uh, that's really important that you make a really strong uh, you know impact when you when you do your work make sure that they will uh, uh, they will be happy with your job so you get the recommendation yeah uh, another question I've got, how did you deal with the issues related to working and making a living in London give your, um, given your illegal situation? So I think it's quite disconnected with that. It? How did you deal with the issues related to the working and making a living in London? Give well, your illegal it's not, situation. It's, it's, not, it's not really easy because even though you are illegal, you still have to pay for your bills, for yeah. your rent, for your food and everything. I think it's like London, it's maybe it's easier to hide. Yeah. And it's more maybe opportunity for like this job. Yeah. But the thing is that there is also expensive. Yeah. London is really expensive. Because see, in London, um, yeah, it's very easy to hide because London is big and you can move to different places to, mm -hmm. you know, from one from different places to another and um, yeah it's always stressful for me because I have to think about all the time you know when when I'm gonna make money again you know so it's not it's not easy always I'm always thinking you know like every month but luckily because um, Keep talking, I will just finish my credit. Yeah, Dahil, um, because I made a lot of friends, so I managed to uh, get some regular income by their recommendations. But at the same time, I'm always, I, I treat this as like um, not permanent because you know my situation is uh, illegal, so I always think another alternative uh, job. I'm always looking for any cash on hand. Doesn't matter if I get regular work. I'm always uh, thinking for any other extra. So yeah. Okay, not back. <sighs> Next question. Uh, of course, like, have you, um, have you had a contact with the Filipino community in London? What support have you received from the Filipinos or orga any organizations? Like yeah, that's uh, that's pretty obvious already. That's I mentioned that already yeah, because but of the you, help. From yeah, from Filipino community, would you say? But there is an existing like this um, Filipino organization who is supporting all these people? Not, Not really. really. No. 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 What about the embassy? Do they support no. like this? No. No. You cannot go and say like. There's no organization in London sa mga uh, illegal immigrants, sa mga TNT. Mm -hmm. Because they know it's uh, it's illegal, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So only they only they can help is that uh, they could if they know any extra job they would just recommend you they would just give you and that's all that's all they can do. Mm. You know. This is the thing. Like um, sometimes if I'm thinking about this, like uh, because if they catch you, so they would they will straight away they will send you to home. Yeah, guys, pagka, and if nahuli kayo ng um, uh, home office officer, because actually yung mga nahuli nila dito, the, 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 the illegal immigrant that they've been caught, they've been reported. Mm -hmm. Not because they've been caught accidentally, 
may mga nagre-report sa mga yun, guys. I think, um, even police, they see that you are, for example, they can see maybe in the system. Yeah. If they will take your passport and, for example, yeah. some check, they're yeah. not gonna do anything about that. They they don't want to mix with that stuff. They well, the, like, the police, you're talking, the police. Yeah, yeah walang ano doon, There's walang kinalaman, walang kinalaman yung police sa, ano, guys, sa mga illegal uh, immigrant. So, kahit mahuli ka ng police, tinignan yung, halimbawa, passport mo, parang mm -hmm. hindi nila, wala silang pakialam doon, wala silang connection doon. Mm -hmm. They don't have any connection. But at the same time, they will not you, find you don't out. want it like yeah. this situation. Hindi nila malalaman na happened. illegal immigrant ka, yung mga police. Yung mm -hmm. ano lang talaga yung mga nakakaalam at pwede manghuli sa'yo yung mga uh, home office officer. So, yeah. Um, and another question, were you, wor uh, were you worried about the possibility of deportation or other consequence related to your illegal stay in the UK? Obviously, yes, of course. Um, hindi ka, pagka ganun yung sitwasyon mo guys, parang hindi ka laging mapalagay. Um, tapos, you always, you know, make sure, you're, you're like, you're not comfortable. You're always yeah, of course, aware it's about stressful and what can happen, especially But at the same time, I up. think you try to don't think about this because... Yeah, pero nasanay ako after, na, after how many years, I, get, I got used to it. To it. Pag kaya yung, yung ugali ko parang normal na kala mo parang parang legal na rin ako sa 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 ano yung pakiramdam ko kasi hindi ko masyadong iniisip yon kasi the more you think about it parang may stress ka lang so hindi ko iniisip lagi na ay um, I don't have any legal papers I have to be careful you know kasi pag if you think about that all the time somehow may impact yun guys kumbaga hindi ka magiging masaya lagi kang nag-aalala you always worried but because I got used to it and I was young as well I met a lot of Filipino mm -hmm. hindi ako na homesick guys kasi na bata pa ako hindi ako nag enjoy ako so you know mm -hmm. I, I, at the same time I, I enjoy myself I go out I meet different people mm -hmm. I party a lot mm -hmm. so yeah Another question I've got like, uh, have you ever taken any action to legalize your stay in London such as uh, applying for a asylum or other forms of legalization? No, because I I don't want to risk it at that time. I don't have any information of how I can legalize my paper. Because if, I think if there's... If there is any option for me to apply for something. I think there's like, I think like after 10 years. But this is not yeah. guarantee you like yeah. they're not gonna move you from here. But um, uh, you not gonna have I think like this opportunity what you had when you met me and yeah. you married. It was completely different. Yeah. So it's quite complicated. Hindi ko na hindi ko na hindi ko na ni risk yon. I I didn't think about applying mm -hmm. for any uh, application to sort out my uh, mm -hmm. my my status in England. Because so you basically, worried that maybe they can even make like they can yeah. deport you. Yeah? So, ang tinatak ko lang sa utak ko, guys, kung ano lang talaga, hanggat nandito ako, bata pa naman ako, trabaho lang, work, work, work. And by the way, my grandparents are, they, they was in like, yeah, in America. Her grandparents <laughs> for many, also. For many years, like, They've been uh, I undocumented think, For many, I, I, I think even more than 15 years. Like, grandfather, he was like two or three years longer than grandma. Yeah. But, they would get like, um... Because when you're staying for long, uh, in America, I think it's like that when you're staying for really long. So you after the time when you cross, I don't know that time was 10, different. 10, 15 years It was maybe. different time also. Yeah. So they can apply maybe and they can be legal. But the thing is like... Like amnesty? Yeah, something like that. Mm. Uh, but the thing is like, they they made decision to back to Poland because they back for the funeral of son. Mm. So it was like, you know, difficult time for them and like that. So yeah. after they couldn't back anymore. but. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um, another question I've got. Um, what would you feeling? What would you fe uh, feelings um, and reactions be if you were given the opportunity to legalize your stay in the UK after so many years of living illegally? What would I feel? Yeah. Obviously, mm -hmm. but that would never, never happen. You know, like mm -hmm. I never. You think that it would, wouldn't happen if you didn't met me and we didn't like yeah had a marriage and after yeah yeah this was because with us it was a little bit different this was everything uh how did she say this like under the eu law little bit yeah like 
and yeah. the EU. Yeah. So this was like your opportunity to be honest with you. Yeah. Because so nung 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 kinasal kami, you it you was if the Brexit was done like completely, they already because this was Brexit already, but yeah. they had like a time for two yeah. or more than two so years. So nung Brexit, hindi agad yung yung system hindi agad nagsettled as a complete Brexit. They still have time to complete the process. Mm -hmm. So when we got married, uh, Just, we are still under the EU law, mm -hmm. which is um, EU is part of the United Kingdom in the past is part of the EU. So nung hindi pa nag Brexit, so pagkasama siya sa European Union. So yung law, medyo pasok pa kami don. That's why when we got married, um, I managed to sort out my uh, papers that time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Um, another question I've got, how has your experience of living in London without a valid visa impacted your personal, professional and emotional life? Like yeah. Connecting everything. Um, yun yung mahirap kasi... Did you I adjusted, feel sometimes depressed? Yeah, I adjusted a lot kasi I got depressed because you cannot find a normal job, yeah? Um, instead, instead na maggrow ako, uh, I was stuck, you know, in the in one place. In one place, like hindi ka gaya ng mga iba na may legal documents na nakakapagtrabaho sa mga normal na um, na kompanya. They they grow, you know, mm -hmm. the, the the experience. For example, people who started in company na nagsimula sa ganitong position, uh, they become, for example, like manager. Mm -hmm. So I I lost that opportunity kasi hindi ako hindi ako nakapagtrabaho sa um like legal company sa normal company. So mm -hmm. yun yun lang. Yun yung isang Do you have sometimes like, like I have a, I'm fed up like I have enough? No. Like I want to back to Philippines? No, hindi ako naka ramdam ng ganun gawa nga nung Iniisip ko lagi kasi breadwinner ako. Because I'm breadwinner, I always think like, you know, if I if I back to Philippines, mm -hmm. parang, alam mo yun, kasi ang hirap ng buhay sa Pilipinas pag wala kang ano eh. Lalo na pag, especially if you didn't, you didn't finish study in Philippines, mm -hmm. um, kailangan mo talagang dumiskarte ng dumiskarte pag hindi ka nakatapos sa Pilipinas. And that's what I always thinking like if I go back to Philippines I will be like mm -hmm. back to zero yeah after all these uh, things na nandito ako so I, I choose to stay here mm -hmm. but yeah um can you also mention because um, there was like the situation like okay your visa expired and okay you, you plan this like okay I'm not going back or how how it looks with that Say yeah. the way you were that you know no, 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 actually when nung na expire yung visa ko, I was I was about to go back to Philippines. Mm -hmm. So my visa it was only like three years. And when it got expired, I bought the ticket already. Ah, so you had the ticket? Yeah, back to Philippines. Tapos nung nagpunta ako ng London para magistay ng one week. Tapos kasi yung flight ko in one week eh, pa pabalik ng Philippines. So you mean that you, your family they expecting that you? Uh, yeah, my you family are... they already expect they already expect that I will go to Philippines and they was waiting. But at the same time they were not happy about that kasi mm -hmm. alam nila pag umuwi ako back to zero again. Mm -hmm. And but when I went to London, all the Filipino that I met there they started telling me like why 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 are you going back to the Philippines you know like you're already here mm -hmm. anyway if your if your visa expire just stay here illegally I'm pretty sure you you can find a lot of job you are young you know yeah you you look smart and I think you you can manage to survive here they, they, mm -hmm. so they they, bo they boost my confidence to you know to stay in England hanggang sa I decided yeah, how old you know what? Time 22? Yeah, around like this, 22. I think 22. And I said to myself, you know what? You are right. Why would I go back to Philippines, you know? Until because until my ticket, my my flight ticket mm. already passed. And so was, and was done. It was done. <laughs> so sabi ko, wala na akong ano. 
wala na akong perang pambili ng ticket the only option for me really is to commit to this decision na mag-stay na illegal so mm -hmm. yun na hanggang sa ewan ko parang kahit pa paano ginabayan din ako ng Panginoon o yung universe or God na kahit pa paano hindi ako pinabayaan yung mga mga yung mga kailangang makatulong sa akin parang alam mo yun binibigay niya kaya yun nakasurvive ako guys kaya I'm so happy for that so um, for that I have got um, last one question and it's do you have any plans for the future now especially related to your uh, legal status in the UK and a possibility return to the Philippines well talking about legal status in the UK mm -hmm. um, so maybe I will just maybe I will just apply for complete like British citizen because now wala pa kaming hindi pa kami citizen talaga but we are we we have the <coughs> have, we have we have settlement we have a settlement which means a resident yeah which means para na rin kaming residents dito ang kulang na lang talaga yung uh, mm -hmm. like actual uh, citizenship yeah because pero think... lahat ng rights meron na kami like the same la as a British citizen. This is the same, yeah. Yeah, of course, this is the little bit. Yeah, you have to pay a lot, quite a lot of money, because, and we, we if it's about us, so we, you need to have a, like a test, an exam. Yeah, yeah you need to uh, do the exam about the about the history, history here in England, in England. Um, English test, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. And uh, talking about ta talking about uh, going back to the Philippines, yeah, I would. I would rather go back to Philippines to to retire, because because the life here is not the same as in Philippines. I will just talk a little bit in Tagalog because because sa Pilipinas iba yung um, pamumuhay natin don masaya. Because mga Pilipino masayahin, marami tayong mga occasion like fiesta, pag fiesta sa atin, bago pa mag fiesta, and dami na mga kaganapan like may paliga ng basketball, may Santa Cruzan, um, may parang mga halabira, di ba? There's a lot of uh, things going on in Philippines. Like I think like even in my country, like we we celebrate a lot of maybe dif we have a different things, yeah. But even like it's a nine day birthday or whatever, yeah. Like christening wedding. Yeah. Here it's more like. Um, even when you're going for like typical English wedding, so it's like you don't have like yeah. full, full, a lot of yeah. food, drink, or like that. But one thing I can say also, because I've lived in Poland for one year, so I know. Um, maybe I haven't seen all, but I, in one year it tells me a lot already. If you live one year in one country, masasabi ko na ah, yung Pilipinas parin talaga yung Philippines is still like a lot of things going on. That's why children there. That's why we are like the most happy people in in the world. I would say. We have a lot of rather the different like. Meron tayo. Meron tayo yung ano yung yung. Ano ba tawag don yung basaan, di ba? May ano tayo? May like we have like this occasion like you go out, people make throwing water on you, makes you wet, you know. So we have this on the eastern. Alimutan ko na yung tawag don guys. So comment below if. Uh, remind you how to do But I don't to be honest with you, I remember that we used to do this like when we were children. Like uh -huh. a lot of like, <sighs> Europe is like changing so much. Like especially like even in my country, I remember when I was child, we spending also more time outside. We had the, like a lot of like attractions like for the children. Mm -hmm. Now, sorry John, but everything is changed. Yeah, children, they I are know. more spending on the laptops, computers, cell phones. Yeah, like. Yeah, it's still it's now. Changing. It's still in Philippines. It's like that. It, yeah, maybe it's changing. It's, it's changing, but, but also less yeah. maybe. But I'm not talking about this. Yeah, it's changing. But I'm talking about all the occasion in Philippines. We have a lot. But it's still also, more than here. Also, like um, uh, Christmas, is really uh, nice in Christmas in Philippines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have a snow. We don't have a winter, but you you feel the uh, the atmosphere. You know. The the spirit of Christmas. You you feel 
really the uh, the Christmas in Philippines. What do you feel? And that, also um, New Year, New Year. Oh my God, it's crazy in Philippines. It's like it's very mm. lively. All 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 the houses have have food. You know, like during fiesta, mm -hmm. Christmas, uh, especially fiesta, people from different place they they come and visit you to your place mm -hmm. and you invite them they come and join you you know you started talking about what's going on in mm -hmm. each other life uh, people are drinking and it's just happy vibe everywhere mm -hmm. during this uh, occasion so I would say where wh wh when I will retire I would like we would like to go back to Philippines in my opinion no, I have to first go and see. Yeah, like she has you know. to. She has to come there and experience. But I'm hundred percent sure once she. But I know one step thing. Step her like foot I don't in don't Philippine don't Island. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> she I will never want forget to, guys. I don't want to retire here. Like I have like. The thing is like I know like a lot of Filipino people they won't go abroad, especially like Europe. Yeah. But don't get me wrong, but. Uh, because people they just I like, even poor Polish people who never been abroad they thinking the same oh because you are in England so oh, how much money you making and they thinking that is a lot of money but mm. this is not like that you living here and yeah. here it's expensive because here your cost of living here also you have to cover um, yeah the value, like the, past. the value of the money here which is uh, uh, British sterling pound um, is quite big so in, in peso one pound is mm. like, let's say 70 peso one pound so it's quite a lot of money in Philippines, mm -hmm. but if you're living here, the cost of living here you need to also cover. So you need to pay a rent here. Because it's changing. Yeah? It's not uh, like food, 10, bills, and everything. Years ago. So, parang halos ano rin. Um, if you the thing is like lang din medyo may ipon even mo. a lot of Polish people they're saying like um, it's still worth it being here, especially yeah. like if somebody just going and let's say like have a quite good accommodation like even share with somebody like yeah. some guys but this is only for single people yeah like you're going you're making money you can even work like a lot of and after you're going back for a couple of months to your country and you have a lot of money you're yeah. finishing or whatever yeah. like you're saving yeah but if you're living here like all the time and you're working like normal life so it's not that, that yeah. how you think yeah especially yeah. if you want live like a quite normal like alone not with the people yeah so, so yeah yun nga, yun nga yung plano namin guys so ang iniisip namin gawin uh, make make as much money as we can habang bata pa kami while we are young and mm -hmm. then um, uh, maybe, maybe buy a property in Philippines we don't know yet where exactly mm -hmm. we're still thinking about uh, the place exactly where we're gonna settle mm -hmm. down in Philippines, but that's our goal. Kasi gusto ko may experience ng mga anak ko yung buhay sa Pilipinas na uh, napakasaya. Like I, I would like them to experience the life in Philippines growing up. Yeah, like our plan is like we want to have their house. Yeah, we'll choose some part of the Philippines where yeah, uh, which is good for us. Like. You know, like, yeah, where it's nice, quiet, and the same, like, uh, it's not far away from hospital. Yeah. Because I don't want to, like, easy, choose, like, beautiful to... island, like, small island, with, which is, like, yeah. far away, to... far away, like, if something happened to hospital, because like, when it comes to, to emergency, you know, yeah. you have to have a uh, hospital nearby, or, you know. Of course, like, we if we spend here many years, so we will do everything, like, um, have a nice house there. Like a modern one, by the modern house, uh, in in good, nice place, um, which we like. But at the same time, we will do everything like um, like we planning to get like a citizens for all of us. Yeah. Because you never know, like maybe because the thing is like maybe we we not planning to back anymore. But you, if you spend it's like always, this many years, it's always it's better to burn to, the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. So you can always same, come back when it comes. At the same time, uh, it's good to have um, you know like. For them opportunity if they want so for them is the door open mm -hmm. they're not gonna struggling like you they can always come back whenever the same like, they like if you're thinking they will have a filipino passport polish passport which is also open for them for other countries european they can travel easier even just like they want to see these countries yeah so anyway guys 
uh, that's it for today. I hope you uh, learned something. Thank you for support and watching us. From uh, my story, especially. And, story uh, of the life. <laughs> story of being illegal. <laughs> yeah, I managed to uh, survive. And my mom is very proud. So, mom, if you're watching, shout out to you. <laughs> Hi. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today. Um, that will do for today. Um, and I'll see you again for the next vlog. See you. Bye. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>